I'm Noor and I'm back with a new video. So earlier today I was thinking about the notion that in order to love other people you have to love yourself and I I really don't think that's true. I think there are a lot of really problematic things with that statement because well first of all it doesn't work. Everyone knows that they should love themselves and they have had people tell them their whole lives that oh you need to love yourself you know just love yourself be yourself all of these things but how many people actually do love themselves? How many people actually like themselves? Um, I bet if you asked a majority of people, they would say that they don't like themselves or they even hate themselves or they could list a whole lot more negative things about themselves than they could positive things. And so, you know, obviously we think that to love yourself is a good thing, but yet there are so many people who don't love themselves. And that's because telling someone they need to love themselves doesn't work. Another problem I have with this idea of loving yourself before you love other people is that we don't know how to love ourselves. Like what does that look like? What what does that mean? How how do we get to love ourselves? So you know we can look to the media and they'll tell us oh we need to change the way we look. So you can go out and buy makeup and hair products and clothes and weight loss pills and all these different things and so then you come back and you look like a completely different person but you still feel the same way inside. You're still the same person, you just look differently on the outside. You're a prettier version of the person that still doesn't like themselves. So that doesn't work either. What I'm proposing is that we have it completely backwards. It's not that in order to love other people, we must love ourselves. I think that in order to love ourselves, we need to love other people. Our, our society, our culture is so consumed on me, 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 me. Like, I need more, I need this, I want that. And we are so surrounded by it that we don't even realize it. We buy all these things thinking that they're gonna make us happy and then we just have more stuff and we're still not happy so we go out and buy a whole bunch more stuff. And it doesn't really change anything except we have more stuff. And so what I'm proposing is that instead of being selfish and keeping it all for ourselves that if we actually give if we give things away to other people then that is what will make us happier and that is what will allow us to love ourselves it's actually scientifically proven that giving away money or gifts to other people will actually make us happier than probably you know spending it on something for ourselves that's because as human beings, we like to see other people happy, and when they are grateful for it, we feel good about ourselves, and in doing so, we can love ourselves. But if we spend that $10 on ourselves, you know, we didn't do anything good. We didn't do anything good in the world. We just bought another thing for ourselves. It's even in the Bible, you know, the top two most important commandments in the Bible are to love God and to love other people. It's not to love God and love yourself. When we do good for other people in our communities and the world, it makes us so much more fulfilled and satisfied and happy about ourselves than just buying more stuff for ourselves. I know that when people say you need to love yourself before you love someone else, what they mean is that you need to feel like you are good enough, that you are worthy, and that you are capable, and that you are lovable. But in order to love yourself, you, it just doesn't happen automatically. It doesn't happen magically. And I think that's the part that's tricky because you can say you can say it you can say yes I love myself anyone can say I love myself they can know it in their head but they don't know it in their soul they don't know it in their being they don't live that way they don't live the way as though they love themselves does that make sense you're gonna feel good about yourself and you're gonna love yourself when you are giving your love away to other people and making a difference in their lives and inspiring them that's what's really gonna make you happy not this not all this garbage that they try to sell you on TV human beings weren't designed to live alone human beings are not designed to be selfish because being selfish and being alone does not make us happy it does not make us fulfilled we are designed to love other people to give because when we love and when we give, we receive love. That's what we were designed to do. But this world has it backwards and so we're all miserable and we wonder why. 
we wonder why we don't love ourselves. So I have a little challenge for you. Next time that you don't feel good about yourself, that you feel like, man, I just suck, I'm just a terrible person, I'm no good at anything. Next time you feel that way, instead of doing whatever you normally do, whether that's like going on the computer or going out and buying yourself something, whatever it is that you normally do, don't do that. Instead, do something nice for someone else. Go clean the bathroom when your parents don't know about it. You know, go mow your neighbor's lawn. You can take a $10 bill and give it to someone in the grocery store when they don't have enough money. Um, bake some cookies for your next door neighbor. Do something good for someone. Do something nice for someone. And see if that makes you feel better about yourself. Loving other people allows you to love yourself. And this world has got it completely backwards.